Hey everyone, it's David Bombal back with the amazing Chris Greer. Chris, it's been too long. Great to have you back on the channel. It has been too long, David. Great to be back. Thanks for having me. Chris, you've got some big news, so let's just jump straight into it. Something's happening with Wireshark, I believe, and it's going to make a big impact on the industry, I think. There is, and I don't know if, if you can see over my shoulder to my screen, David, it is right here, right here for you. This is the badge of the official Wireshark Certified Analyst certification. So that's the big news. So I mean, before today, Wireshark didn't really have a certification that could verify or, you know, tell the industry that I actually knew what I was doing with, with Wireshark. Is that right? Yeah, so the Wireshark Foundation itself did not. Okay. And so in recent years, the Wireshark Foundation has become its own independent nonprofit. Historically, basically a vendor owned the rights to it and they supported the Wireshark project as a whole. But in the last couple of years, now it is completely on its own. So the Wireshark Foundation has always had the goal of having their own certification to validate a skill set of a yep. Wireshark user. And so now they've officially released this certification and I am very excited about it. Yeah, I'm really glad to hear that, right? So this is an official certification from the Wireshark Foundation themselves. Is that correct? That is correct, yes. So, okay, so I am. if I go through this, and we'll get into the weeds in a moment, but if I get certified with the certification, I mean, what what is it called again? This is the WCA, the Wireshark Certified Analyst. And that certifies that I know how to use Wireshark at, is that like an associate level or like, is it like expert level? You know, what is it? What does it mean? So that's a great question, David. So this does have some prerequisite knowledge that's going to be needed. So things, okay. uh, honestly, like a CCNA or a Net Plus or a Sec Plus level, if you have that level of networking knowledge and then you can adapt that into the WCA that's the target so this isn't an entry entry level certification however it is targeted to that CCNA person that wants to take that next step so I mean I come from a Cisco background and then and I mean I'm, I'm just going to use that as like a like a comparison so is this like CCNA and then you get Wireshark or do I have to do CCMP first before I do this Kind of like, where does it sit in CCNA, CCMP, CCIE? Yeah, so you don't need the CCNP before you would do this. This is targeted more to the CCNA audience. Uh, okay. So in order to take the certification, you want to make sure that you have a general understanding of how a network works, uh, how traffic flows through a network, IP addressing, subnetting, uh, those types of core concepts. Uh, the certification doesn't cover those. However, it does pick up in the protocol analysis aspect. So uh, I know we're gonna be going over the objectives in just a moment, David, but basically it does go over the Wireshark analyzer itself, okay. but it takes a look at the core protocols that you're gonna be using every time you open up Wireshark and it tests against those as well. Yeah, so it's not gonna ask me making a joke really, but like dumb stuff like which menu item do I click on for this? It actually tests knowledge of protocols and how to use it practically. That's correct, absolutely. So Chris, have you, you said you've got a blueprint or objectives or something. Is there something that you can show us so we can kind of see, you know, what the certification and the exam entails? Absolutely. Let's do it. All right. So the certification objectives you can see here. So this is the WCA 101 from uh, Wireshark, the foundation itself. Now the foundation actually contracted a company called Packet Pros to actually create it. And so uh, this was a set of people uh, of which I am one that oh, came right. together. So you involved, right? Yes, I was directly involved, and it was brought together to be able to bring this forward. And also, uh, it was peer-reviewed and peer-tested by many members within the Wireshark community, including the core developers of Wireshark. So it has a lot of peer review behind it. But just to talk to you about the objectives themselves, so let's go ahead and first look just um, over all the exam details. By the way, David, you can go ahead and link below the straight to the Wireshark website where they can any viewers can go and download these and get an idea of what's going to be covered on the certification. As you can see here, the number of questions just over 60. It's going to be 120 minutes. It is a proctored exam through Criterion. Uh, it can be delivered either either uh, remotely over a browser, or you can go into a criterion facility to actually sit the certification. Um, as far as the things that are covered, so first of all, just some key features of Wireshark. So we do need to know how to work with packet captures and, and some general drivability things within Wireshark, I call it. So using conversations, using endpoints, uh, following a TCP UDP stream, things like that. 
Also, it's important to understand how to capture traffic. So you can see there in the second point. So yeah. uh, uh, implementing a ring buffer, um, actually capturing to a file, limiting that capture by file size, packets, or duration. Next, a big section on filtering. That was covered pretty heavily in the certification. So uh, we spend so much our, of our Wireshark time filtering. So we wanted to make sure to test to it. And knowing some of the core filters, but also some additional ones, some special filters that are going to be useful when we're doing our analysis. Also adapting the Wireshark interface, creating profiles, adding removing columns, uh, coloring rules, uh, using the colored sidebar. But then this is where the certification takes a different spin. So up through section four, you can see it's more Wireshark interface focused. Yeah. But from here, it goes into the protocols. So this goes over the core protocols that you absolutely will run into as a Wireshark certified analyst. So Ethernet, ARP, IPv4, IPv6, and of course, UDP, DHCP, DNS, TCP. So those are the list of core protocols and you got to have a pretty good idea of how those run, right? So TCP, we're, we're looking at some of the TCP options, the purpose of a duplicate acknowledgement, uh, SAC, DSAC. So uh, there's quite a look that we take to each level with, uh, which, with these different protocols. And then finally, there's some questions there about how to troubleshoot common issues. So you might be given uh, a screenshot of Wireshark, an output, and you got to walk through the packet capture and see if you can determine uh, either what was root cause or what were some additional things that you can determine about that PCAP. Quick. Uh, so quick, it's mentioned, but in this certification or this level of certification, it's not tested to at this point. That's great. What about the types of questions? Is it like labs or is it multiple choice? Is it drag and drop? What types of questions are there? At this point, through Criterion, uh, it has the capability of doing uh, some drag and drop, some fill in the blank, some multiple choice, some multiple, or not just multiple choice, but multiple uh, Selection. selections that you make. Uh, so it's that style of test at this time. Uh, now, keep in mind, this is just Wireshark 101, right? This is WCA 101. So the goal is to take this to a more interactive lab in the future. But at this point, for this level of certification, almost like the CCNA, uh, it's it's testing those core concepts with that style of question. I think it's important, right? Because in today's world, it doesn't matter if you in cybersecurity or if you're a networking person, you have to understand Wireshark. Absolutely, you, you you have to. And 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 that's why this certification, you can see from the objectives, it is made to be a more general thing that can be adapted to a lot of different aspects within IT. Uh, it's not specific just to networking, just to cybersecurity, just to even a developer. This is general concepts that anyone in IT should become aware of and will help you with so many different uh, types of roles that you could uh, become a part of. Uh, we even did some beta testing within some larger organizations, even some Fortune 5 organizations. Uh, and they took a look at it and they they were very excited about the level that it tested to, uh, the thoroughness that it approached to really be able to uh, take a look at someone's skill set. And they even mentioned that this is something that they would like to see on some of their job requirements and would really help them to get an idea of what someone walking in the door would understand how to do, uh, which was part of the goal of the Wireshark Foundation. Yeah, I think it's it's brilliant. I mean, Chris, I've known you for a long time. And what I love about the way that you work with Wireshark is you're not saying, okay, just click here and then you get these options. You you work with the protocols and you do this all the time. So I'm glad that you're involved in this. So I'm assuming it's like really real world practical stuff, not just theoretical things. Yes, absolutely. And uh, Ross Bergertis, the partner yep. that was heavy with uh uh, working with me to bring this forward. Um, you know, he's has a long time in the industry as well. Maybe we can link some of his uh, plural site content. But uh, he did a lot of CCNA work. So he brought the CCNA perspective. I I have a long time in the packet analysis perspective. So we really tried to land on that sweet spot uh, where we were able to make it to where you could really prove your skill set. But this isn't so impossibly hard. Don't think CCIE, don't think CCNP, don't think advanced certification. This is not that. But this is something that you could prove to an employer that you know your stuff when it comes to packets and Wireshark. 
That's fantastic. Big question, cost. Uh, so the target there was about the level of the CCNA. So the CCNA is about $300. So this one's just a slightly higher. So it's at $349 is going to be the introductory rate for it. And that money goes to the Wireshark Foundation, right? Yeah. Um, we're making sure after expenses are covered and so on that the Wireshark Foundation benefits. And that was really, I mean, just to let the viewers know, uh, you know, the Wireshark Foundation being a, a nonprofit, every time you download Wireshark, there's a cost. Yeah. And they pay that cost. So this certification, uh, when you take it, it directly will benefit the foundation and help it to stay afloat and help it to continue to be the world's best open source protocol analysis tool. So yes, it directly will benefit them, which was a, a huge driver behind doing this. Always remember that like cartoon of like the world's systems are relying on some guy who's written a piece of open source code and it's like holding everything up, right? And Wireshark is just like that, right? You've got these guys who are creating this product. And I mean, there's costs associated with doing all of that. And we all rely on the software. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, where would I be without Wireshark? Don't go away on me, you know? So we wanted to do everything that we could, you know, me and my partner, Ross. Yeah, so when we were looking at how to bring this forward, you know, helping the foundation continue to move forward and have its its financial foundation to be able to continue to do what they do and uh, really help the world be better at protocol analysis. That was a goal. That's great. So in summary, CCNA or Network Plus would be prerequisites. Cost is $349. I can do it online or go into a place like in person. It's a, an official certification from the Wireshark Foundation. I'm assuming we get badges from Credly or something to verify that I've got this right. Yeah, so after passing uh, Credly, is a badge, it'll issue that badge for you and then you can share that, socialize it. Uh, any employers that might be looking for this specific skill set out there on LinkedIn and otherwise, this will be something that uh, we're gonna continue to help them see that the, these are the people that know what they're doing with Wireshark. I'm really glad that you're involved and Ross, I mean, you guys are well known for this and I mean, Ross is really well known at Pluralsight. So I'm glad that you guys were involved in, I mean, you guys wrote the questions and did a lot of the object, objectism stuff. Is that correct? Yeah, the community, there's uh, core developers within the community really helped out with the objectives and that was peer reviewed and agreed. And then that let us move forward with uh, question, question creation. And there was also some additional help with that. So I, I don't want to give the impression that it was just a two man job. And this, this was the community bringing this forward and also to uh, getting feedback and going doing rework and making sure the questions were clear and that they made sense. And you know, that took a lot of effort with the community as well. So uh, when you go to Wireshark about and you look at developers, several of those core developers were involved in this as well. So just want to give them a thanks to help to bring this forward as well. Chris, there's always this problem with search, right? That guys can just do brain dumps and pass. But I'm assuming this is, again, like it's really practical. You have to know your stuff to get through this exam. So it's valuable. Yeah, we tried to make sure that every question, you know, has a good reason to be there. It's not just memorization, rote memorization. It's, it's the why. You know, yeah. Why are you doing this? What does this show you? Uh, what would be the next step kind of things? So it's uh, to the best that we could with the um, with the platform try to really make it more interactive. Uh, so, um, and and that really to be able to demonstrate a skill set. So it's not just a brain dump. Yeah, and, and some of our beta testers actually mentioned that, that this would be, uh, even if you did have a brain dump, you still have to know the why. You know, there's several points within the cert that are, it's tough to just do rote memorization. That's We didn't want that. We wanted to stay away from that because yeah, like you met, so many certifications do that. Yeah. And what do yeah. they really test to? You know, so uh, we wanted to make a different certification that tests skill. And I, I think we hit that mark. That's brilliant. I mean, the big question, right? Okay, so I invest my time and money in this. Will it help me get a job? And what kind of jobs? So as the certification grows in awareness, uh, this is something that we expect to continue to be seen as an industry standard. The Wireshark Foundation has a lot of friends. And yeah. so they're recognized in a lot of places. They have a lot of uh, sponsors. They have a lot of affiliations. You can see that right there on their website. Um, even Google is backing SharkFest here and um, coming up soon. Uh, so uh, that's the good thing. Uh, people love the foundation. They love the tool. And they're, we've had nothing but excitement come from the industry uh, with some of our testing. And so what uh, 
I, I expect that we'll see is that this will show up on future job descriptions. Uh, things like network technician, network engineer, um, network design engineer. Also, uh, we're starting to see it on several different like vendor specific areas, like conversations that we've had with uh, like zero trust vendors and uh, even cloud developers, cloud uh, supporters, uh, cloud providers, not just also on the networking side. How about on the, the cybersecurity side, SOC analyst, threat analyst, uh, anything really. I mean, if you go on, on LinkedIn and you look Wireshark and if you look at any job description where that is a necessary skill, this would be a very clear way to demonstrate that skill set. And so that was the the target. I'm really glad about that because it's the problem is you can have all these skills, but it's hard sometimes to get your foot in the door. I think a lot of people complain about that, right? So, I mean, I could say I know Wireshark, but it's how do you quantify that? And I'm glad that this has been created by the Wireshark Foundation. I'm really glad that you and Ross were involved. And I mean, the whole the whole group of other people, because you know, if I'm looking for a job, this is a way that I can tell people that you know I know what I'm talking about at a certain level when it comes to Wireshark. Absolutely. This is how you prove it. So if you go in on an interview and, you know, they're asking you anything about protocols, anything about Wireshark, anything about even, you know, reading IDS IPS rules, it's like, this is going to help. It's like, well, yeah, I got, you know, I have my Wireshark certification. What, you know, let's, let's talk. I know protocols, you know, that, that would be very compelling for someone that's trying to land that next job or even uh, explore a different opportunity within their, within their own enterprise. Big question. With all this stuff always, is there book, is there training, you know, what, how do I prepare for this? So yes, yes, and yes. That's on the, the basically the rollout plan. Uh, so linked below, you can see a link that goes directly to an on-demand training course. This is one that I've developed through Correct. my company. It covers every single objective through one way or another, either uh, through a hands-on lab, through some theory. It's something that you can purchase and just consume at your leisure. Uh, there's practice quizzes. There's so many different lab trace files that are built into it. So we can link that below. Um, also too, in addition to that, you know, a lot of times, I mean, when I was taking my CCNA, uh, it wasn't just reading a one book or look, looking at one practice test. So I would recommend that people take a look at several different types of training. Uh, you're going to start to see, and we can link those as they become available, uh, different lab environments for the WCA. Uh, I'm also going to be working with Try Hack Me to see if we can get this developed right. into an actual path on Try Hack Me. That would be pretty cool. So I'm going to see if I can I can work with them on that because that's all gamified, hands-on. I also am developing a lab environment. We can link that below as soon as that becomes available, I hope, hopefully by the time we um, drop this video. Also with a book, so there's a couple of publishers, David, that are interested in doing a book deal. And I've been reached out to be a technical editor on one of the books. So um, as those become available, I mean, we're, we're just now dropping this to the market. So uh, as those resources become available, we'll make sure that uh, the links below continue to increase and people can consume those and, and be certified. But the course is available, right? So I can get my video training from you directly, right? 100%. That course is available today. And those other lab environments, as they become available, we'll make sure to link them. So I put the links below. Just for visibility, I will get a commission if you buy the course using my link below. Thanks very much, Chris, for giving me an affiliate link. So that only applies to the course, doesn't apply to the certification. But otherwise, just go to Chris's website and buy it directly. Chris, I'm really excited about this. I'm glad that you have been involved, that you guys have like helped the Wireshark Foundation with the creation of the certification, but also that this training, and I can't think of anyone better than you to do the training. So I'm glad that you made a course. Thanks, David. And you know, something maybe we could do on your channel, I'm going to do definitely one on mine is uh, just some of the labs that someone would be, would need to know to get a WSA certified. So any viewers out there that are interested in that, please uh, comment below if that's something you'd like to see. And David I and I can work together on uh, some of the practical things that you're going to need to know. So uh, let us know if that's interesting. So for everyone who's watching, give us your feedback. Let us know if you're excited about this and you know what your thoughts are. It's a brand new certification, so I'm sure Chris and the team would love to get your thoughts about ways that this can be improved. One thing I forgot to ask, Chris, this is only the first certification, right? So you may have other certifications like at more expert levels, is that right? Yeah, that's the idea, just to allow the certification to grow. And then in the future, we can adapt it to different skill sets. So you can go further down the road of TLS, quick decryption, uh, or even down a cybersecurity road, like a threat hunting, that type of 
um, possibility is there. But this would be the foundational one, like to pursue any of those other certifications, this would be a nice one to have first. And that's why we started there. Brilliant. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, David. <laughs>